What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another Swatch review for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos and let's get started. So today I am partnering up with Enchanted Polish to bring you guys their holiday 2020 collection which is called Kitchmas Glitter Bow. <laughs> if you guys haven't heard of Enchanted Polish before, they are an independent nail polish brand based in the US. They are 14 free, meaning they are free of 14 of the dangerous chemicals that are often found in nail polish. They are vegan and they are cruelty free. They also have 16.5 milliliters bottles which I feel like I always need to mention because they're really big so yeah we've got nine brand new nail polishes and they are all my favorite formula oh my gosh I'm so excited if you guys remember way back in the day well it wasn't that long ago but it was a few months ago I showed you guys a polish from enchanted polish called kyber crystals and I was totally in love with that formula it was a scattered hollow jelly and now we've got a collection of nine of them in every color of the rainbow so you know I was gonna love this collection but let me just show you guys the swatches. And then since it is Black Friday at the time of uploading this, I am going to tell you a little bit about the site-wide sale that Enchanted Polish has going on. So let me show you guys the swatches first. So roll footage. So as always with my swatch and review videos, I am going to be using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today I am using the Cuccio base coat, so I'll link it down below for you guys. So we'll start off with the shade Bitsy, which is a super saturated, vibrant, hot pink jelly base that has holographic hex glitters scattered throughout. And one of the cool things that I love about this collection is that the holographic glitters that are in there aren't your usual silver hollow glitters. The hollow glitters are actually the base color of the polishes, I'm pretty sure, which I think just adds a lot of dimension to it. It makes it look like a lot more of that specific color. Color. So you can see this isn't really like a silvery hollow glitter running throughout. It definitely screams pink. It's super fun and bright. And all of these I am going to be wearing in two coats. Now that is because I have short nails. If you have longer nails, jelly polishes would probably be three coats on you. But as I'll mention later, you can always do a similar base color and then you'll get the same effect on your nails. Next up we have the shade Jingles, which is a very bright cherry red base that has again those reddish holographic glitters running throughout and another thing about this collection is they are super super packed with glitter I feel like it could also be a really fun experiment to try to sponge these on but honestly they apply so smoothly just as regular application and you still get so much glitter so I'm not even sure if that's necessary this one was actually super opaque so I pretty much got full coverage in the first coat but for me I always like to get that little bit of extra depth with the glitter so I did do a second coat and as you can see See, it's just so dimensional and sparkly on the nails. This really feels like the perfect holiday color, but it's also just like the perfect red hollow. Next up, we have the shade Oodles, which is a super bright orange jelly base that has these golden hollow glitters running throughout. So you can definitely see that golden vibrance shimmering through here. And I think that really adds such a brightness to this orangey color. And oh my gosh, I love this base. I feel like I have been really falling in love with so many oranges over the past few months that it's really quickly becoming a favorite color for me to have on my nails, which I never thought that I would say. But yeah, really loving this one. Just gonna add it to my favorite oranges because it's so beautiful. I really wish I had this one for Halloween, but I will accept it as a holiday polish as well because it's just so bright and fun and festive. Next up, we have the shade Winks, and this one is a bright lemony yellow jelly base that has the yellow hollow glitters running throughout. And this was yet another one that just really impressed me in terms of the coverage and just how much glitter was in here. This one more so than even the others felt way packed with hollow so it was just a really impressive amount of coverage and I do really like this yellow because it almost feels especially with those glitters running throughout like a very yellowed gold and I personally love wearing gold in December it just feels like the festive time of year for it so I really enjoyed this one but I also think it is bright enough to definitely wear this in the summer as well that's just one thing that I love about these enchanted polished rainbows collections is you can really kind of find ways to match them for any season. Next up we have the shade Buddy and this one is a beautiful lime green jelly base and then it has the holographic glitters running throughout. I actually can't tell. I think these glitters are green but I'm not entirely sure because they also have a little bit of a golden base to them. So it might be gold but with the jelly covering it it might have turned green. I'm not 
not really sure. But regardless, this was one that I think I was the most excited for this one, and it definitely didn't disappoint me. It's just so bright and festive and fun, and I mean, I just can't get enough of green nail polishes. I know I say it all the time, but it's worth repeating, especially when I'm looking at this beautiful polish. Look at how sparkly and bright and fun it is. Next up, we have the shade Trinket, which is a really beautiful deep teal jelly base with these bluish holographic glitters running throughout. And this one definitely is toned down in terms of like the vivid brightness, but it's still such a saturated color and it's just so beautiful and sparkly. This to me feels like your classic wintry gemstone like kind of color. And oh man, I just think it looks so gorgeous on the nails. Such beautiful coverage in those two coats. And I mean, I just love that sparkle. And I also noticed that when you have hollow in a blue base, it kind of just creates this crazy blue dimensionality to the glitter. So I just totally love the way that looks. Next up, we have the shade Twinkles, which is a super bright cobalt blue that has glitters running throughout. And to be honest with you, I cannot tell if these are holographic. They definitely seem to be just regular blue metallic glitters running throughout. But when I have the bottle at certain angles, I feel like I almost get a little bit of a hollow sparkle, but on the nail, it definitely just looked mostly blue, but oh my gosh, what a stunning color. Wow. Talk about a gemstone nail. This is so beautiful and sparkly and gorgeous. I feel like, oh my gosh, is this not the perfect Hanukkah color? I feel like I've been saying that a lot too, but there's a lot of good Hanukkah colors this year. <laughs> but yeah, this one again, amazing coverage, two coats, perfection. It looks so beautiful on the nails. Next up, we have the shade Gumdrop and this is another one I was really excited about and that's because I feel like the glitters in this are a little different from the rest. This is a really beautiful almost fuchsia base color that kind of leans a little bit more purple the more coats you do but the glitters within it I think they're actually blue holographic glitters running throughout. So it kind of has this really interesting mix between that very warm almost pinky base and then the very blue holographic glitters. It just creates this really beautiful and pretty unique effect on the nails. I definitely don't have any shades like this. And it's kind of funny because looking back at last year's Christmassy videos, I feel like I was not really on board with pink colors for Christmas, but now I'm all about like these pinks and these purples. And I feel like it's just such a holiday vibe. And last but definitely not least, we have the shade Tinsel. And this one is actually a clear base that is packed with silver hollow sparkle that you can actually get full coverage just by painting on regular so this one, as you can see, just a tiny bit sheer in the first coat, but I did manage to get full coverage in the second. Again, if you have long nails, you might need to put on a third coat, but I thought that this looked perfect as it was in the two coats. I don't think this polish is sheer enough that you can wear it as a topper, but I do think that you can definitely use this for glitter gradients. I think it would also be perfect for sponging on if you want to just get that really crazy pop of silver hollow on your nails. But yeah, just a beautiful way to round out this collection. So here are all of the polishes together. And as you can see, they're all super stunning. Honestly, I feel like my swatches didn't even do these justice because they are just so much more sparkly and deep in real life. I just think there's so much depth in there that really only your eyes can capture. So if you guys thought these swatches were beautiful, just wait until you see them in real life because they are seriously stunning. So yeah, those are the polishes. Obviously, I love them. Scattered hollow jellies are really my favorite type of jelly. If you guys watch my video on my favorite hollows, you can probably already tell that that is the case. But these ones are just such impressive formulas and such impressive coverage. And one thing that I also love about them is if you do want to save the polish, and you don't want to use that much at a time, you can always put one layer over a similar base color and then it will look just as cool. You'll get a little bit less of that depth of the glitter, but it still looks really good on the nails. That's also something that I did in my swatch of Kyber Crystal. So that's already linked up in the cards if you guys want to check that out. But yeah, so before I get into the sales, let me just tell you guys the basics. These polishes are 16.5 milliliters each and they retail for $16 USD on the Enchanted Polish website. Enchanted Polish also has free US shipping with 
no minimum. So pretty awesome deal. If you want to just get the one bottle of nail polish that you like the most, you don't have to pay shipping on that. All right, so let's talk Black Friday sales. Enchanted Polish is actually having a 10% off site-wide discount, and that is running from now through November 30th, the end of the day. So if you use the code HOLIDAY10, you can get 10% off your entire order. As usual, US shipping is free. So I will list everything down below for you guys so you can check that out as well as link all of the polishes. But yeah, I would love to hear from you. What do you guys think of these polishes? Which one is your favorite? Are you planning on picking any of these up? Or are you planning on picking up any other shades from Enchanted Polish during the sale? Let me know in the comments. You know I love to chat with you guys. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And that is it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. All right. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Lissa. And Lissa wants to know, did you enjoy high school? And then Lissa also said, most people don't, but I did. <laughs> okay. Well, I did not. No, I, I really did not enjoy high school, but after high school and then college, if you go to college, I feel like it's really hard to just learn stuff. So, I mean, if you're a person who is in school right now and you're worrying about like having a good social life and like, you know, having good, like typical movie high school or college experiences, I feel like you should definitely not worry about that. You have the rest of your life as an adult to like make friends and be social and have crazy nights and days and whatever, but you really don't get many opportunities to learn stuff, especially not for free. I kind of wish that I had studied even more because I feel like I could be a lot smarter now. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I did not enjoy high school is the short answer to that. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.